السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. This is me, Mira Majid Abu Lanin, Associate Professor of Public Health and Community Medicine, Tanta Faculty of Medicine. I'm delighted to introduce to you my female research project, which is entitled The Effectiveness of Problem-Based Learning in Medical Education from Health Professional Perspectives. The project is uh, supervised by Professor Dr. Rania Gamal-Din, Professor of Ophthalmology and Shams University and female faculty. Problem-based learning is an innovative, student-centered approach, which aims to improve the learning skills and self-learning capabilities of the students and integrate the basic knowledge with clinical science. It also aims to promote the uh, presentation and communication skills. But unfortunately, the BBL approach is not um, implemented in uh, all medical schools in Egypt, including Tanta Faculty of Medicine. Therefore, the implementation of uh, this approach in medical education will enhance the students' uh, clinical skills and clinical practice, and subsequently the patient's outcome. This project aims to examine the faculty member knowledge and attitude toward the effectiveness of problem-based lear learning in medical education. The project has three outcomes. The short-term outcome is to acquiring the knowledge regarding the principles and tips of PPL and positive shifting of the attitude of the faculty member toward the PPL instead of the uh, traditional teaching methods. The intermediate term outcome, uh, a trial to adopt the BBL to be implemented in uh, medical education between the fac intervened faculty members and to achieve positive students' feedback and faculty member feedback regarding the uh, PBL. While the long-term outcome, implementing and adopting BBL as a method of teaching in Tanta Faculty of Medicine and subsequently better patient medical care. Uh, the project has uh, three phases, the time plan of the project, so three show its three phases. The first one is the pre-assessment uh, uh, intervention phase, uh, in which we are going to screen the knowledge and uh, perception and attitudes of faculty member regarding BBL. Then intervention phase, after that post-intervention uh, assessment phase, uh, um, which uh, will be conducted, inshallah. Uh, the methods uh, in this uh, project uh, were uh, uh, using uh, the following pre-assessment uh, questionnaire. It is a self-administered and an anonymous one uh, structured by the investigator based on uh, previous literature. It is divided into three parts. The first one is about demographic and academic characteristics of uh, participants. The second one is the perception of the faculty member regarding BBL. Uh, um, through a uh, 17 question, uh, their response ranges from uh, one uh, to uh, two, uh, one for don't know or no, and two for the correct answer. Uh, the attitudes were uh, also assessed using 13 questions, followed with Likert skill, uh, one strongly disagree, uh, two, uh, five uh, strongly agree. In the post-intervention assessment will be conducted using a questionnaire and focus group discussions with the intervened faculty member and the uh, students who um, uh, tried or uh, who uh, experted uh, the BBL from the intervened faculty member to take their feedback evaluation. Uh, the intervention is uh, structured by the investigator in the form of the workshop, which is uh, which was held online uh, to the faculty member regarding the uh, principles, steps, uh, uh, how to run a successful uh, tutorial session, um, and also uh, audiovisual materials like videos and uh, posters and research articles uh, were used. Uh, the target population were the faculty member in the department who were about 25. The response rate was 80 percent and um, the willing subjects were 20. Um, uh, eight of them were uh, completed the, the screening uh, questionnaire in the pre-assessment uh, but does not uh, chair in the uh, intervention uh, stage uh, while uh, there were uh, about 12 faculty members completed the questionnaire and has completed and uh, watched and participated in the intervention procedures. 
the preliminary results uh, showing that uh, the perception score uh, regarding the BPL was highest between the lecturer uh, who attend about 24 point uh, uh, five uh, average score out of uh, 34 the total maximum score of perception uh, the same was uh, for the attitudes was highest between lecturer who uh, had uh, about 46.5 average score out of 65 interestingly that um, the professors had the more positive attitude scores more than the assistant professors the attitude and the perception scores were uh, categorized in two, two, in two three thirds. Uh, about one third of uh, the respondent showed uh, perfect and excellent uh, knowledge and perception regarding the BBL, while uh, the remaining uh, participants uh, were between uh, poor and uh, good knowledge. Uh, for the attitudes, only one uh, third about 32% had negative attitude regarding the problem-based learning. Um, the finding of this study uh, and uh, our project uh, concluded that the study uh, the faculty member had a relatively poor to good uh, perception regarding the problem-based learning principles and steps. Uh, a small proportion had positive attitudes toward the effectiveness and value of PBL, and it was particularly between young academic, the lecturer. Um, of note that, and worthy to note uh, that um, the intervened faculty member reported uh, so much of interest and enthusiasm to try uh, implementing uh, the PBL session in one of their teaching classes and to receive the students' feedback. Uh, thank you.